Okay, this video I'm going to demonstrate um, how impedances and loads affect the amplifier. So different ohm loads uh, when you're using speakers and um, how, the how that affects the amplifier depending on what ohm loads you've got it on. Okay, I'm going to use this, do this demonstration using straws. All right. I've got four straws here. Okay, I'm going to let that represent four ohms. Okay. To increase the, the impedance. I'll take two straws away, that gives me eight ohms. So that's eight ohms, that's four ohms. And that, that'll be 12 ohms. So 12 ohms, eight ohms, four ohms, all right? If I add number four, add number two, give me two ohms, add number two, give me one ohm, all right? So I'm gonna take my four ohm speaker, four straws, all right? I'll be the amplifier, okay? So when you blow down the straws, obviously it comes out the end, and me, the amplifier, can power this speaker on a four ohm load very nicely. I'm blowing quite gently, so I'm not working too hard, right? If I take two straws away, give me eight ohms, I'll blow with the same power, I won't blow any harder, I can't power the speaker very well at all on 8 ohms because that's uh, decreasing the power from me. Then back up to 4 ohms, I can power the speaker easily. I'm not trying too hard. 1 ohm, uh, oh, sorry, not 1 ohm, uh, 12 ohm here. Don't even come in close. So the um, more, more ohms I have, the less power I'm giving out as an amplifier. If you decrease the impedance, four ohms, two ohms, okay, you'll find that if you blow down the straws, you'll have to work a lot harder, but you'll get more power out. So this, this, this should spin the fan really easily. I'm having to work a lot harder, I'm running out of breath a lot quicker than I was just with four or with two. Now if I make it one ohm, I'll run out of breath really quickly and I have to work really hard, but it should spin really fast, really quickly. Not sure if I'll be able to get all these lined up that well, but... You can hear that spinning a, spin a lot faster than if I did 4 ohms, so that was 1 ohm back to 4 ohm. I'm running out of breath a lot, far, a lot slower. So that's basically how the amp um, will tackle different ohm impedances. Um, so the best, the best way to look on the back of your amplifier, see what it says is the minimum load impedance. and. Um, most car audio uh, go for either 2 or 4 ohms, most home audio, like normal stuff, about 8 ohms. Good stuff like Technics here will be your 4 ohm load minimum. If you put a load lower than 4 ohms on a 4 ohm safe, then what you're basically making the amp do is work twice as hard. So you'll get about twice the RMS that you'll get from the amp if it was on 4 ohms, but you're making it work a lot harder and many cheap amps and stuff can, can blow if you uh, put the impedance too low. Just like I was running out of breath at the end there, because I had the impedance really low on one ohm, and I was having to work really hard. But this fan was getting more power out of me than if I was just using one straw. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm trying to explain it like in simple terms. So if that's helped, just leave me a comment. If it's not, then just leave me a comment and like I'll try and make another one or something.